OK, the map's starting to look quite good. However, our rivers are a little bit harsh. So the question is, how would we make our rivers look a little bit more artistic and in keeping with the rest of the map style? The answer is, you guessed it, Sheets and Effects. So let's click on the Sheets and Effects button. Now, I don't know if you recall, but we placed the rivers onto a sheet called Rivers Front. So we're going to select that one, Rivers Front, and we're going to add an effect. We'll add a nice soft glow to it. We'll select to make it a nice sort of light blue color. Actually, no, we'll make it a bit of a darker blue color. And we'll have the glow come out, say, 1.5 miles. Click on OK and OK again. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. They've just softened up just a little bit. We're then going to add an additional glow to them with a more of a richer blue color, but it's going to go out further, a full five miles. Let's see what that looks like. Wonderful. You can see how it sort of almost looks as if it's been inked onto the page. That's the effect that we're looking for here. We've got a lovely soft brown color in between our mountains, which highlights them. We've got some lovely blue coloring to sort of ink in our rivers. Now the only thing to do is to look at our plants. Look at all our vegetation, our forests. They really look like they're sort of just plopped on the page. In professional maps, they would also be inked. A quick way of us, if you will, inking the background of these is to add in a contour line in behind them. Although it's not a true contour line, we're using contour lines in this context as a way of creating a soft color spot. Remember that our mountain contour line is partly transparent and certainly very, very faded. So if we use the same tool that we used before, default contour, sorry, the contour lines here, right click, and let's select a greenish color. There's, this is probably a good one, a nice light green. And we'll simply draw around our forests. They don't have to be exact, certainly don't have to be accurate. All we're trying to do here is put a nice inking in behind. Now, if you've noticed, while I've been doing this, because we're using a tool, Campaign Cartographer has automatically changed the sheets to contours and land. But when we redraw, and the sheets are used, we'll save save now, and the sheets are used, you can see that they now are, have been marked out as coming in behind the trees. The sheets take care of all of that lovely fading effect, and also dropping them in behind our trees. Let's take a look at why. I'm going to click on the sheets and effect. You'll see that the sheet for contours on the land is well below, or further up the list, than rivers, or vegetation, or symbols, which is why our symbols sit on top of that.